So welcome this morning to Art 116, and we are kind of talking about this painting that we've been working on and trying to punch it up just a little bit more. Sometimes you guys have to come back to something after your eyes have rested for a day or more. And so that um, you can uh, see it with fresh eyes and be able to see things that might not be, might not have been totally apparent to you before. So I've got my um, blue violet over here and I just wanna do something to try to clean up this edge right here and try to get um, this edge to work just a little bit better for me in terms of being a, um, an area that is either defined by a um, contour line because the artist actually defined his a whole lot with a contour line. So I'm just adding a couple of things and like right here, I need just one more or two dots to try to help really make the roundness of that apple a little bit more complete. And I might bring one more dot or two more dots out here just to really give a little bit more of a round shape, especially to this outside contour line or the idea that, that there's just a little bit of shadow on that bottom edge of that apple. And that kind of helped to really pop that apple into existence. Um, I may have to come over here to this apple and try to do something similar. Um, I might have to just knock down a little bit some of these. Um, there was a string of pearls of um, yellow orange dots here, but they weren't just exactly like on the, um, on the curve for that apple. And so I just need to just, you know, sometimes you got to come back one more time and just kind of reinforce an edge or a curve to try to make it better. And <clears throat> having done that, I'm going to also throw out a little bit of um, my orange yellow, my yellow orange, which uh, goes in this puddle right here. I haven't even been cleaning off my um, my palette because the palette, you know, it's just a, it's just a plastic lid and it could go in the trash when we're done with this. But it kind of is nice for you guys to see that I've got four colors and I got to, I got to bring this up here so that you guys can see it. I've got, you know, four basic colors in the Tetrad that I'm using. And so you don't have a lot of choices, but I do want to come back here to this apple right here and try to help define this edge just a little bit better, trying to get the curve to be just a little bit more uniform. And I know that that's hard to see because we've got some um, reflections on the sheet right here, but I've just got to do a little bit of this. And so I'm going to come in here and just reinforce this curve right here and just try to get on that curve with a few more dots to bring this around just a little stronger and better. Ah, just like that, to try to get that, that part of that apple to work just a little bit better. You know what? I went a little bit off my edge of my curve, so I might have to bring them in here just a little bit more like this. And, you know, that's the thing about shape and something like an apple. You know, if you don't have that round shape really good and, you know, an apple isn't like a perfect sphere, but it kind of is important to get the outside contour of it, you know, as close to spherical as possible, especially when we are dealing with um, a pointillism kind of a project here. In fact, damn it, I just want to come down here just a little bit more to try to make this bottom of this curve work just a little bit better, like right in there, something like that. And now it's too much um, high key and I may have to still come back with my, um, uh, my low key color and knock these back down again, but at least we're gonna try to just bring that in. And so I ask you 
and I, I keep hoping that somebody will say something. Um, what do you think? Um, is there any other part of this that just isn't working for you? Anybody? Go ahead. Unmute your mic. Tell me good morning. I love a good good morning in the morning. It's kind of fun. You guys are killing me. You do speak English, right? I'll say good morning. I'm kidding. Hey, there's somebody. Wait a minute. Good no, morning. Um, so my personal opinion, I just think that it's really dark with the blue around. Okay, which one? Which one is dark with the blue? Oh, the um, just kind of the background a little bit. I feel like the dark blue is really dark, so it ha it kind of takes away from the apples just a little bit, in my opinion. Okay, no, 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 that's a good opinion. I may look at the um, original and that helps. And I think that this is a little bit higher key, kind of a triangular area in here. And there's a little bit of a line or some kind of a little hook shape of higher key in this background area. And I might try to then, you know, come in here and maybe just um, with a couple of dots and it really doesn't take too much, you know, try to bring this up a step or two on the value scale um, by with a smattering of the higher key or highest key values in the background to try to do what you're asking, which is to try to bring that up a notch or two. And it's not gonna be a uniform triangle. So um, that's good. I was, I'm sorry that I was being snotty and snooty about you know trying to get you guys um, involved in the conversation, but your input is really important to me. And so I wanted you also, you know, we're trying to, um, you know, develop our, um, communication skills, including, um, uh, you know, being able to participate in a critique. And so let's critique the teacher's one first, because that's kind of fun. And so over here is that, that little, that little hook kind of a, uh, form in the background of that thing, which also helps to just break up these shapes a little bit in the background so that they're just a little bit more, I don't know, something that isn't um, just a, a Johnny one note kind of a thing. So you are absolutely right. We're going to just kind of do a little bit of a dance with dots like that to try to break up the background. It kind of this little shape character over here and this little triangular kind of character over here, if I bring them up with um, uh, a smattering of other dots and it could be my orange red too, I'll maybe throw some orange red in there too, that'll break up that overall, you know, kind of dark background there. And then it'll make the shaded areas between the, um, the apples, this area, this really interapular area right here, darker, which it probably wants to be based on the composition. Our greatest areas of darkness and contrast between light and dark, I think, are in the shadows between the apples instead of the background. So that was a really good observation. Thank you. All right. Um, now, I wanted to um, turn my attention, um, you know, to you guys, if possible, to see if anybody had their, their project far enough along where you'd like to get some feedback, just like I was asking for some feedback right now, asking for an, uh, another set of eyes to be able to look at the composition and let me know if there's anything that I could fix on here that, that would help it, that needed fixing. God, I see another thing while I'm talking about it. So I wanted to see if you guys had a piece that was ready to show and that you could either put up a, um, a digital photograph of it on a share screen so that we could talk about it, or if you could even just you know hold it up to your webcam. So if, if you have something like that that you're willing to show and share with the group, that would be fantastic. Um, I just put in a couple more dots to try to reinforce the curve and the contrast of this area of the composition right here. But um, any of you guys want to want to play my game today? Um, please go ahead and there, Emily. I'd like some feedback. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm going to switch to you. I'm going to I'm going to replace the pin on your webcam. And or did you want to share screen? Or did you want to uh, use your webcam? What are you using? 
Um, I'm just going to show you guys. Okay, very good. Okay. Sorry about the screaming. He's excited. No, 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 that's fine. Your apples are fabulous. They're really fantastic. I love all of the shapes, especially the crescent shapes, you know, in your apples that really help to reveal uh, the spherical nature of the apples. And that each apple is different is really nice because then you got variety going in there. That's really good. I like that. I like the cast shadow behind the one apple in the lower right hand corner too. That's nice. Do, do you know what your tetrad colors are? What are your four colors in your tetrad? Orange, green, red, and blue. Oh my gosh. Okay. And did you get that by putting a square over the top of the color wheel? Yeah, did I mix up? Did I mix it up? Oh, I don't know. I'm just I don't know. I'm just asking. <laughs> okay. No, it looks it looks fine. And you know, sometimes when we, we use orange, then we get um, things that look more like seven oranges laying on a table instead of seven apples. And that's mm -hmm. just fine. Because as long as they look like fruit, that's all I care about. I really like your uh, stem end um, shadows. They are really working for me. That's good. What do you guys see? Does, does anybody else see anything in the composition that you can comment on, Gabby or Kelsey? I want to get you in on the conversation, if possible. So I don't really have anything bad to say. I actually like yours a lot better than mine. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gabby. Your colors came out really good and less blotchy like mine kind of did. And I really like how you have the, the subtle shadow on the far right apple underneath all together i think it looks really good thank you so much there's only one thing i've got to ask you about um emily and that is the lower right hand corner you can put it down now for a second um the lower right hand corner where the um the pool of light kind of tapers off and becomes kind of an indistinct area in the lower right hand corner um, Let's see if I can pin it back to my uh, thing for a minute. So I'm gonna replace the pin with me. And oh, okay, we're down here. So this area down here is just not quite as bright in the original composition. The pool of light is kind of two thirds of the length of the thing. And then this kind of becomes this indistinct, weird blotchy area. And actually yours, your pool of light kind of extends all the way over to this edge. So if you could just do a little smattering of other colors in there to kind of knock this corner down of your pool of light and just let this happen kind of over in this area, then that, that would be good. Because right now it's, it just, it's a little too bright maybe in that corner. But your, your apples are fantastic. Your background is working really good. The contrast between your apples and the shaded areas or the background is really good. We like that a lot. Awesome, thank you so much. Good job, good on you, I like that. Um, and then when when you complete it, you know, uh, unless you guys already have, but please go ahead and take a photograph of it and upload it for coursework so that I can, you know, have a copy of it and give you some feedback. I know this has been a really, really hard project you know it's been two weeks of trying to figure out what James is after and looking at some of my demonstrations to see how to like you know control and corral some of this stuff to make a painting but even those of you who have never painted before are are getting it you know with this and that's really important so good job Emily um so I wanted to turn to Gabby or Kelsey. I guess I'm going to put you in the spotlight for just a second. Um, do you have uh, something that's even not quite finished that you'd be willing to share? And, you know, I can take no for an answer, but um, yes would give us something to talk about today, just in case you have. So don't mind how I look. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. um, but this is kind of where I was at. Uh, my two-year-old thought it was a good idea when I took a minute to walk away and help <laughs> so to speak but this is kind of what I did this is good this is fantastic all right again the apples are working really really good and the background for me is working good now the background 
is the top edge of the painting and the foreground would be that bottom edge of the painting, including that little pool of light. And the only thing that I would say is to try to bring some of your yellow into that foreground little pool of light to make that pop forward a little bit. Otherwise, okay, yeah, he, he didn't get the dot situation. So he just took my brush and you can kind of see where he started like trying to help and I don't know, I couldn't, I didn't have another one. So I was like, well, we're gonna work with it. <laughs> no, you're good, you're fantastic. And painting, you know, you, you can't use an eraser with painting. The only thing you can do is paint more color over the top of it. Once you have uh, a color that's dried, you can definitely just cover it completely over with another color and that would be fine. I think you okay. got a really great thing going there. So maybe just Thank a you. little bit more um, light in the pool and you'll be good to go. So okay. I will I will replace the pin back to my thing because you know you didn't want to be on camera today and I'm really sorry for putting you guys on the spot today for this and so that was good see this is and I'm really sorry let me apologize to you three that the other ten people in the morning class aren't here with us live uh, experiencing this but what you just did really helps them when they look at the um, the recording later on because then they can come back i guess i'll come back to my my talking head view here because you guys don't need to see that um you know we need to have this kind of interaction so that we can see a piece in progress and we can make you know a little bit of a, a critical uh, critique comment on it which can then help a person make some changes and improve the piece and you know we advance we advance science and art that way um, that's how we get better so this was good um, and for those that couldn't join us live for today's um, you know thing this is like a pre-critique uh, day because the the project is due at midnight tonight you know please try to finish the painting if you can and photograph it and upload it tonight and we may actually try to do a little bit more talking about it on Friday. We'll just have to see who shows up and you know if people are ready and willing to talk about this. And of course, otherwise, I've only got two weeks left in the quarter. So I'm gonna kind of move us on to the next project if you know if I need to, because I need to I need to keep moving, or we're you know, like a shark. If you don't keep moving, you die. So I have to move us on to like the, the next project. So um I, I still see things that are wrong with this thing, especially when I hold it up and I'm looking at it in the monitor uh, because now I'm seeing it from like 10 feet away or 20 feet away, which really helps to consolidate my view and allow me to see it in my central cone of vision. When you're, when you're looking at it this close, sometimes you can't see the forest for the trees, but when you get back 10 feet, if you can tape it up to the wall, or just get back from it, you know, several feet and view it from another angle or another distance. Sometimes the problems with the painting can then just come right into view and you can say, oh yeah, I got to fix that edge and or that kind of contrast or something like that. So I think that's going to do it for now. This is, um, you saw me making changes on this. We uh, looked at a few pieces and were able to make some suggestions about possible um, improvements on them. And that's what we do here. That's good. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that for now. And uh, I'll see you guys probably on Friday morning. And we'll see what happens with this project. And maybe between now and Friday, I will get to the last project and get it all graded. And uh, we'll try to keep get um, caught up with the, um, the grading and the feedback and everything. So Thank you guys, and I will see you again on Friday morning. Bye-bye for now.